Good news, friends. We've determined the precise dates for the $2,000 stimulus checks for seniors receiving VIA, SSI, and SSDI benefits from Social Security. In this video, we'll explain when to expect these funds in the mail and how they can help you watch the entire See the Video for all the pertinent information. Sharing this video will help others remain informed. Welcome to Updates Area, your reliable source for the most recent information on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks specifically designed for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI, and VIA recipients. You won't want to miss out on this money during these difficult economic times, so let's get right into it. The government has officially announced the specific pay dates for new $2,000 stimulus checks to arrive in your mailbox. In this can't-miss video update, we'll cover all the essential information you need to know, including who qualifies and when to anticipate the $2,000 payment. To set the scene, let's examine the challenging financial realities of millions of Americans who depend on for many elderly, disabled, and veteran people. Social Security disability benefits or pensions serve as their primary source of income. These monthly benefit checks are their lifeline, but with inflation raging at over 9% annually, every dollar has been stretched extremely thin for Social Security. Benefits for recipients of Social Security are gradually increased each year in accordance with the cost of living adjustment, but the 88.7% increase scheduled for 2023 is insignificant when compared to real-world price increases for housing, food, utilities, healthcare, and other necessities. For those who are dependent on these increases, the situation is even more dire. With no other sources of income or assets, most beneficiaries of SSI or pension income are living at or below the poverty line due to their fixed monthly payment levels. To put the average monthly Social Security retirement benefit into perspective, is only $1,688, or roughly $20,000 annually. A person on SSI can only receive a maximum of $914 per month, or $1,968 annually. A 100% disabled veteran can receive approximately $3,500 per month in compensation. Regardless of how you cut it, trying to make ends meet on any of these meager fixed incomes is difficult, has grown into a daunting, upsetting task due to the skyrocketing costs of essential commodities, which don't seem to be going down anytime soon. Over the past few years, price spikes have fully surpassed any incremental cost of living changes to benefits due to a perfect storm of variables. Calls for one-time emergency stimulus payments to support some of the most vulnerable citizens of our country have grown. Finally, in response to persistent pressure, the government has agreed to provide a crucial $2,000 cash infusion to help offset this harsh economic burden in the most recent economic package approved by Congress. All Americans receiving Social Security Old Age Disability Benefits, SSDI, or Pension Disability Compensation will get new stimulus payments worth $2,000 per recipient, which will provide much-needed financial relief for the tens of millions of people struggling to make ends meet on these fixed benefit incomes. To be clear, this is not a permanent increase to the monthly benefit amounts, despite advocates' continued campaign for those as well. Instead, it is designed as a one-time, non-recurring stimulus payment to assist offset the higher 2023 prices for food, heating bills, housing, medical expenses, and other needs. Nevertheless, this immediate $2,000 cash infusion will still significantly help those who are falling behind, especially considering the revenue surplus from this year's payroll taxes. For instance, the average Social Security recipient receiving $1.688 monthly would see the equivalent of nearly 1.5 months worth of benefits from this. A handicapped veteran getting both SSDI and VIA compensation would receive over two months worth of full benefit income from the stimulus payment alone which for an SSI recipient maxes out at just 914s per month. This stimulus might go a long way toward paying off debts that have accrued or unpaid bills from the previous trying year. The good news is that, according to the federal agency's announced pay schedule, this money should be arriving in bank accounts and mailboxes very soon. However, it's unclear exactly when Social Security beneficiaries 
SSI, VIA, and recipients of Social Security will receive it. The payment schedule has been staggered over the next several months to enable for a more smoothly managed distribution procedure based on different benefit categories for people receiving Social Security old age or disability payments. As a result, recipients can anticipate getting their $2,000 stimulus checks. Your stimulus payment of $22,000 will be direct deposited on July 14th if your payment is regularly received electronically. Paper stimulus payments will be mailed starting on July 28th to those who still receive Social Security checks through the mail. If you receive Supplemental Security Income, SSI, your stimulus payment will be sent in the first week of August. The $2,000 stimulus payments will be processed and dispersed two weeks after the SSI beneficiaries on July 20th for those who are getting a pension or disability compensation payments. The stimulus funds will eventually arrive in your bank account or mailbox on July 1st for Americans on Social Security Disability Insurance, or SSDI. In short, Social Security is paid in mid to late July, while SSI is paid in August. Your $2,000 stimulus will be delivered in addition to your regular monthly payment, thus the payment dates will be either July 1st or August 1st, depending on which monthly payment cycle you come under. On July 1st, South Dakota SSDI. The IRS and related federal agencies have been working diligently behind the scenes for the past two weeks, on July 20th, to get this money out the door as soon as possible, while still guaranteeing appropriate processing and preventing any fraud. They are laser-focused on this goal. With an emphasis on meeting these target payment dates, the actual payment processing will follow a similar pattern to previous stimulus distributions during the pandemic, whether you receive benefits through direct deposit banking information or through your regular Social Security benefits, SSI or SSDI. For those who still receive physical checks in the mail, the one-time $22,000 stimulus will essentially be a separate paper check that arrives in your mailbox in accordance with standard procedure. File. Then the $2,000 stimulus will be safely and securely transmitted into that same account on the corresponding payment date. A representative of the U.S. Treasury will sign the check, which will be made payable to you, the beneficiary. Just be advised that it can take a few weeks for all paper stimulus checks to come through the mail due to the staggered payment schedule across various benefit groups and mailing dates. The mail system even after it is issued, so cash it as soon as you receive it and don't freak out if it arrives a few weeks after the payment date. For Social Security recipients, this is a crucial logistical note regarding taxes. The IRS has verified that this $2,000 stimulus shall be treated as non-taxable income and have no bearing on the amount that determines your income-level-based Medicare premiums or benefits. Additionally, since this payment is distinct from your regular monthly benefit amount, beneficiaries will get their regular Social Security payment in addition to the $2,000 stimulus. The agencies are emphasizing that beneficiaries should keep a close eye on their bank accounts and mailboxes in early to mid-July for this payment to arrive, and they will be providing additional updates and guidance. Security or SSI disbursement for that corresponding month is an extra addition, not a replacement. As the distribution process takes place over the next few weeks on their websites and social media, and the possibility of earning an additional $2,000 is undoubtedly an exciting one. Beneficiaries will receive a financial boost, but there are some possible problems and scam dangers to be wary of in case payments are delayed. The agencies will provide regular updates if significant issues arise, but whenever you have a large volume of payments like this going out all at once, there's always the chance of scattered delays, processing errors, or other hiccups that could postpone when some people receive their stimulus money. Scams and impersonation attempts are likely to occur during times of isolated delays. Regrettably, low-life scammers frequently take advantage of these circumstances in an effort to defraud people through impersonation scams via phone calls, emails, texts, or even older tactics in which criminals may try to fool beneficiaries into giving up personal or banking information. Beneficiaries must be extremely vigilant against any potential scam attempts and verify before taking any requested action, as some beneficiaries may be mistakenly ineligible. The IRS, Social Security Administration, and other agencies 
will never reach out asking for this information by posing as official government agents. Genuinely meet the requirements, may have been initially overlooked and not received their stimulus payment on schedule due to administrative or technical issues in earlier stimulus rounds. There have been instances where people have had their payments incorrectly withheld or incorrectly denied, necessitating a drawn-out appeals process. Presumably, this will only apply in a tiny percentage of cases, but it's something to be aware of. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button.